Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel from Kalkine Studios. We're live in Sydney right now. And the Australian share market is expected to open lower today. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.1.3% fall. The share market closed 0.47% higher yesterday at 7,182. Now, if we take a look at business news from this morning now, Jumbo's revenue is up 13.9% to $118.7 million. There were 42 Powerball, Oz Lotto large jackpots in financial year 2023, compared to 43 last year, with the average value per jackpot down 9.3% to $36.9 million. Now, last year, that was $40.7 million. These figures, however, mask the significant volatility in jackpots observed across the year. Notably, financial year 2023 included only five jackpots greater than $50 million. That's compared to 13 in the prior corresponding period. In the first quarter of 2023 and the third quarter, large jackpots were relatively subdued, reflecting the third and fourth lowest average value per jackpot periods, respectively, in four years. Conversely, in the second quarter of 2023 and the month of June saw a strong recovery in jackpots and benefited from a $160 million and $100 million Powerball, respectively. Total PEXA Group business revenue for financial year 2023 rose 1% 1 to $283 million. And that reflects growth from new revenue streams such as PEXA International and informed decisions and backed by the resilient performance of the PEXA Exchange. Now, revenue from the group's emerging business rose $1.3 million in financial year 2022 to $20.3 million and now represents approximately 7% of group business revenue relative to less than 1% in financial year 2022. Now, PEXA is a world-leading digital property exchange platform and property insight solutions business. Their managing director and CEO, Glenn King, says the 2022 to 2023 financial year was one of solid growth for PEXA. And they navigated considerable market headwinds while also investing for future growth. And Aussie Broadband has showed continued strong growth and trajectory across all segments through executing its financial year 2023 strategy and meeting the top end of EBITDA guidance with a record result. For the year, revenue increased 23.1% to $788 million. EBITDA was up 52.1% to $89.6 million. Total broadband connections increased 18.2%. And the company was named the most trusted telco brand in Australia, receiving 16 awards for excellence in customer satisfaction, service and technology. We'll just take a break here. We'll be back after the break with more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Kalkar Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Kalkar Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones. Now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed 1.08% lower. The S&P 500 lost 1.35%. The Nasdaq shed 1.87%. European markets closed mixed. London's FTSE added 0.18%. Frankfurt lost 0.68%. And Paris closed 0.44% lower. With Asian markets, Tekia's Nikkei gained 0.87%, the Hang Seng added 2.05%, while the Shanghai Composite closed 0.12% higher. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.